there's often so much laughter in the staff room and uh, walk into classrooms, it's great to see teachers really enjoying teaching their children. They just, it, the look on their faces and the excitement on their faces. I walked into a classroom last week and the children were really engaged in a, in a hands-on creative activity um, where they created an underwater world and the teacher was just walked out and said, wow, I, I haven't had a, such a great teaching day in such a long time. Mostly I'm the year two, three, four classroom teacher and I teach in here four days a week. I also do the cell coordinating, which is the social emotional learning and the APRE, so the Assistant Principal of Religious Education. I've come from a very, very large school um, to a very small school and I've really, really enjoyed uh, change in different atmosphere and I've very much enjoyed the students and a lot, a lot of different contexts from what I used to working in. Children have such a great sense of joy. They're so engaged in their learning, they're so excited about it. But I think another huge part of it is our staff culture, mm. that the adults in this community really get along well mm. and support each other. It's a very peaceful place, um, very, um, a lot of integrity I find in the, in the school and I find it very welcoming, very welcoming environment. Mm. There's so many things I love about teaching this class. They're a really creative group and we get to engage in lots of hands-on learning and lots of really exciting investigations. I like to use IT, information technology, to assist in that um, in many, many ways. So those students that struggle with writing, I can use podcasting, um, I can use film and, uh, and other visual effects that they can express their ideas if necessary. I've known them all since prep because I've been here for a while and I know exactly where they're at and can cater for them really individually. Catholic education has a big focus on social and emotional learning and uh, those five keys to social and emotional learning really put in a good step to deal with that moving on into a high school situation where you don't have that similar support you get in the primary school. We have chosen St Rita's and once again because of the community network so it's like a really big family at St Rita's. Mm. Knowing that there's always someone there to listen, there's always someone there that will hear them and try and help them solve their own problems rather than us jumping in and solving the problems for them. We're giving them the skills that they need to, um, to be good citizens in the future, but be part of our community now.